Hey guys, welcome to another Radical Review. I just got back from, or I'm just now leaving the theater because I just got done watching Infinity War. And I'll give you my spoiler free thoughts on it, then the second half spoilers. First, let me reverse out of here. Ooh. All right. Coast is clear. Okay. Woo. Okay. What I got to say is, wow. That is the best damn grand finale to a vacation I've ever had. <laughs> it's not the grand finale of the Marvel Universe. Oh no, it's far from over. I mean, come on, you got Ant-Man coming out in a couple months. <laughs> Alright. Now, I'm going to go ahead and tell you, this movie has no connection to Ant-Man. His name is dropped just like Hawkeye. So, no Hawkeye, no Ant-Man in this one. So if you're a fan of those superheroes, I recommend setting this one out. But if you're a fan of everybody else, like Gamora, like, like the Guardians of the Galaxy, Iron Man, Captain America, all that good stuff, yeah, see this movie. And I'm going to go ahead and say this right now. We'll quit watching this for the video and see this movie. Yeah, go out and see this movie right now. It is worth every penny. Hold on. Hold on guys, I'm gonna have to pick this back up later. Had to double check on something, I'm good. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Back to Infinity War. Thought I thought I hit a, I thought I had a flat tire, but I don't. <laughs> Double check. Cause you know it's windy out, and also I uh, went to a park with a really gravel, really gravel-like road. <laughs> So that's probably it. This probably I'm hearing probably gravel in the tires. But uh, but yeah. Once again, these guys knock it out of park. I don't know what the heck Disney's been doing with um. Don't know what Disney's been doing with Marvel, but they know how to hit it. I just wish they treat Star Wars the same courtesy being that they spent four billion dollars on it but then again so it hasn't come out yet um but yeah uh, i love tony stark i've you know the, um iron man his and always has been my favorite superhero um the hulk he's in it but only at the beginning uh, it's mostly Bruce Banner that takes the, that mostly takes the spotlight. Uh, if you're a Hulk fan, uh, rather than go through the whole plot, uh, I'm just explaining you know each superhero that's in it. Um, like Captain America, Black Widow, and Hawkeye. No, not Hawkeye, but the Falcon. They all show up pretty much at the same time. Uh, we pretty much know. Bucky Barnes' um, story, you know, the Winter Soldier, he was with uh, Wakanda, living in Africa for a while with Black Panther.
and um, and if you have seen Black Panther, you pretty much know of hit that part of the story. That was one of the post-credit scenes in Black Panther. Wait for them. Okay, there we go. I always like to take this back road home. I pretty much go in one big giant circle. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, it's pretty much at this point where everybody, you know, the superheroes, they're, they're, they're overconfident in this, like, I guess I'd say they're kind of cocky in this movie. Um, here, I'm gonna bring up the windows here that way you can hear me better because I won't be going in too much into this movie because I want you guys to see it but yeah the superheroes are kind of cocky in this one and therefore they, they, they can win all every single case well I'm going to tell you that Thanos breaks the villain curse of Marvel Everybody says that the, the villain in Black Panther was the best villain. No, fuck no, not by a long shot. <laughs> Thanos is the best damn villain I've seen in, well, anything. He is the best villain I've seen in anything. Better than Darth Vader, better than Snoke, better than, you know, he's just the best damn villain. Um, hell, he's even better than Joker. Yes, Joker from Batman. He's better than that. Because... Thanos with the Infinity Gauntlet, man, he can, if he gets all those stones, not even fucking Goku can stand a chance against him, man. Not even. Because he can just rewind time and just, fix, you know, just go up against him, you know, like, like, he's able to, to correct any mistake <laughs> that happens. You know, like, like he, he's just, he's pretty much like a god now. So, yeah, that's what happens if he gets all those Infinity Gauntlets. Not, well, he actually got the Infinity Gauntlets. The Infinity Stone, I should say. Um, but damn it, I'm, I'm almost close to spoiling this. So, I'm going to go ahead and give you guys uh, my review, um, you know, spoiler free. The effects are phenomenal. The... Just the, it was all spot on. The points were all spot on, uh, and I did not notice any product placement. Thank God. Um, every single actor did a phenomenal job with their role, um, and also I'll get into spoil when I get into the spoilers. I'll talk about Venom as well and why the internet's upset. Well, he wants Infinity War. You won't be so upset when you see the Venom trailer. I'll say that. Um, but yeah, effects are good. The jokes were... were um, the jokes, they, they, they were well-timed. Um, very enjoyable. And so... Um, so let's get on to what I'm giving this thing. I am giving this movie... A very rare, legendary, radical score. It is a 10 out of 10 with a 5 out of 5 enjoyment level. Because, unlike Logan, I actually anticipated the ending. So, <laughs> so yeah. Um, so, definitely better than Logan. That's for sure. Um... But then again, Mark Logan don't count as the MCU, sadly. It is a Marvel movie, but it's not the MCU. Hoping now that Disney made a deal with Fox, you know, they go partner up at some point. Alright, so once I turn onto this road, that's when I'll get into the spoilers. And almost there. Freedom. Okay. So 
spoilers, 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 spoilers. So if you haven't seen the movie or don't want to know, turn away now. Thank you and have a good day. And I'll do my next movie, which I'm guessing will be Han Solo. Get past this traffic light and then that's when I'll get into it. It's a very beautiful day today, I will say that. Okay, spoiler time! So that means if you're still watching this, you've seen the movie. Wow, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. I mean, damn. Raj Chetta, my buddy Raj Chetta, he's right. This is the Empire Strikes Back of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Uh, we were inspecting Thanos, and I told my friends, Thanos is going to get all five of those damn stones. Just watch. He's going to get all five of them, and sure enough, he fucking did. The bad guy actually won. And I'm like, damn, I have not seen this since The Dark Knight. Where the bad guy wins, you know, the Joker technically won at the end of the Dark Knight. He he got his he got what he wanted with with the police chasing Batman. But we're not here to talk about Batman. We're here to talk about Marvel. So so it begins with uh, Thanos attacking uh, Thor's ship and killing everyone on Thor's crew, like everyone. It, to where only it was just him, uh, Hindor, and Loki. Um, Hindor gets stabbed by Thanos, and then Loki gets his neck snapped, saying, Oh, I'm with you, and then Loki tried to stab Thanos. Big mistake there, because Thanos killed him. And then, I don't know how the hell he did it, but Thor survived this ship blowing up. Again, I have no idea how that happened. <laughs> and... And somehow Hindor opens up the Bifrost Bridge or that portal to transport Bruce Banner out of there. The forewarn Earth that Thanos is coming. And he winds up in the Sanctum Centaurum. I think that's what it's called, the Sanctum Centaurum. You know, Doctor Strange's place. Um, to say Thanos is coming. And then Iron Man, then um, Iron Man's fixing to go on a wedding, fixing to get married to Pepper Potts. Congratulations, by the way, Iron Man. About the time he had the balls to do it. But then, um, um, Doctor Strange interrupts it, saying, Put your weddings on hold. I need your help. And then that's when they get together, and they're like, Okay, we need to find Steve Rogers. And they're like, Nah, me and Steve ain't on good terms. And then out of nowhere, jumps the Guardians of the Galaxy. And they're doing their thing, jamming the music, and they pick up um, Thor. Then they uh, Thor um, teams up with them for a little while, and and trying to prevent. Uh, they're basically doing the same thing that that the guys on Earth are doing, and they're trying to keep these stones as safe as possible. But that's not, not going to happen. Thanos gets all these stones. He gets he gets two from Thor. Um, one from, he already got one from the Guardians, and then he sacrifices Gamora. Gamora's the first one to die of the superheroes. No, not really. Uh, I guess it, I guess it can count Han, Handor and Loki. They're the first ones to die. I guess Gamora's the third one to die. And then, um, what else? Um, so he gets those. Then he gets, um, Doctor Strange's, um, so that's, so that's four, um, I forgot how I got the other one, and then finally he kills off, um, he kills off Vision, which I knew Vision was bound to die, he's powered up in Infinity Stone himself, and then when that happens, sure enough, Thanos snaps his fingers and half the Avengers, half of the superheroes die. Root dies, um, Drax dies, Black Panther dies, because so I'm surprised they didn't have much screen time. <laughs> um, Myra Hill and, and, uh, and Samuel Jackson, you know, Nick Fury, he dies. They, they're the big cliffhanger at the end. They're the, they're the post credit scene. And, um, Peter Parker dies, so... 
yeah, Spider-Man dies. So if you if you're one of those people to be like that looked at Venom saying, "Where the hell is Peter Parker? He's dead, guys. He's dead." There's a reason why they say at the beginning in association with Marvel. Peter Parker's not gonna show up in this. He's not gonna show up in Venom, so drop it right now. He's dead. He is dead. Um, I think, yeah, it's, I think uh, War Machine's dead. Bucky Barnes is dead. Um, but uh, the girl with uh, the, the bald-headed woman, um, you know, play, who plays Michonne in, in Walking Dead, she lives. Black Widow lives, Bruce Banner lives, um, Star-Lord lives, um, Rocket lives, I think, um, and most of all, uh, Captain America Steve Rogers lives, and best of all, Iron Man lives. Thank God for Iron Man living. I would have really, which, that shocked me. I, well, I thought, like, I really for sure thought Brute, Brute and Drax would live, because Brute, he already died once, and he'd come back, but now he looked like he, like, dissolved, so I don't know. I'd say he's dead until they find some way to bring him back. And I say that rest of Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel rests, and, and I think so does Adam. I mean, at the end of, of Guardians of the Galaxy, we see a tease of Adam. So, I say Adam and Captain Marvel's gonna join the new group. Um, team up with with Tony Stark and Captain America and all that, so... But, I unless there's a time thing, um, no doubt, Ant-Man, Wasp, and everybody else, they, they live. Because they're, that movie has yet to come out, so... Unless they dissolve at the end of, of Ant-Man and a Wasp, I say they're safe from dissolving, because... Because, uh, Thanos looked right at Tony Stark and said, you know, you earned my respect, and because of that, I'm only going to kill half of humanity. And that's what happened. Half of the superheroes die at the end. <laughs> Which we kind of expect that. I mean, come on, he's going to get all five Infinity Stones. So, so that's it, guys. That's my spoiler. Uh, 10 out of 10, 5 out of 5, I loved it. I'll definitely see it again if, if my friends want to see it with me again. I'm willing to drop another 10 to see it again. Um, so yeah, um, let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and I will, or, and I will see you guys on the next Radical Review, which should be, um, Solo, a Star Wars story. That should be the next one, but I'm not sure. No guarantees on that, on if that's the next one or not. So, um, take care, guys. Enjoy this beautiful Sunday, um, and I'll see you guys next time. So take care and have a good day.